Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is 2 in the morning um, and I should probably be asleep by now, but instead I am about to summon on the Forging Bonds rerun of the Desert Mercenaries banner. I didn't get to summon on this banner originally when I debuted back in November. Um, I chose to put my orbs toward that uh, towards that a green banner, the the one the other November banner. If you haven't seen that summoning session, I would definitely recommend it. It was kind of a nightmare, but it might be fun to watch. <laughs> um, but I decided to put like all 500 or something orbs on that banner, and that was a trip. That was a trip. So I didn't actually get to summon on the Desert. Mercenaries banner, which I really wanted to, so I didn't get the Garrick or the Duo Ephraim that I really, really wanted. So I am so happy and so thankful that we are getting this chance again. And with the Spark system now that it's been introduced, we actually get a free five star summon after our 40 summon. So I'm really looking forward to this because if I, for whatever reason, don't get either one of them, I can get one guaranteed after our 40 summon, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna be sniping blue and green this entire time, so I'm definitely gonna surpass probably the 135 orb threshold uh, that most people recommend, but I'm okay with it. Um, I shouldn't spend too much more than that, just sniping blue and green. I feel like the odds are in my favor, so let's jump right in and let's just hope we get blues and greens. Here we go. Okay, so let's start with blue at the top, and what's it going to be? What's our first summon going to be? And it is an Oscar. Underwhelming. But it is what it is. Um, and I'll just go ahead and let's pull green. Um, should we try to build our rate up and pull that red orb as well? Um, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Um, as you can see from the left hand side of the screen, I did throw in Yuin into the roster um, because uh, sometime yesterday, literally just yesterday, um, I was struck with inspiration and I wanted to. Ooh! Oh, wait, it's a Sylvia. Never mind. <laughs> um, I was struck with inspiration that I wanted to build a team of just short men. I mean, Yuen's a boy, but like, you get the idea, like, short, bo short guys. Um, just because, I don't know, I think that'd be funny. Um, most of you guys wouldn't know this, but I'm, I'm really short. I'm only five foot three inches uh, tall. Uh, and so, I don't know, it's a... Sh Shigori. I just think it'd be really funny if I made a team of all short men. I don't know. That's the representation I'm looking for in a video game, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> It just randomly came to me yesterday, and so suddenly I got this itch where I just like really, really want to pull for Yuen. Um, but of course, D uh, Derek, Garrick, another Shigur, um, Garrick and Duo Ephraim are the priority, so of course I'm going to just Night Blue and Green, and I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna be. There's gonna be a few circles that only have reds or something like that, just because, you know, reds are so common anyway, that I imagine that there is a slight chance I might get pity broken by a Yuan, which I wouldn't be mad about at all, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I- Oh, I didn't- oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, give me one second, guys. Sorry about this. I am not prepared. Okay, and we are back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, we still have three tickets left, so let's go to number two. Ooh, okay. So let's go for the blue, and I think I'm not gonna pull those reds. So I think what my plan is is that I'm gonna be sniping blue and green until we get one of them, either Garrick or Ephraim. And then once I've at least gotten one of them, then maybe I'll start pulling some reds. Um, not just to build up our rate, but also so that we can, of course, possibly get a Yuen along the way. So let's run with that strategy. I'm gonna skip over these for now. Um, and just see how that goes. So I'm really excited about this banner, because like I said, I've been wanting Garrick and Ephraim for quite a while now. Um, Garrick's art oh, is just so good, and I mean, I'm just like, I'm like a lot of Fae players, like, good art is really all it takes for me to like sometimes want to build a unit. Um, but like, truth be told, I also am really biased towards Sacred Stones. I do have a lot of fond memories with that game. I haven't played it in years since I was a child, like in 6th or 7th grade, but still, I do have really fond memories of playing it. So, I have an immediate bias towards any units that are Sacred Stones, and um, I do like a lot of the ones that were in this banner when they debuted. I was very excited about this, and of course, 
Ross being the auto demo was just sort of the cherry on top. Um, speaking of which, of course, Ross is on our left hand side of the screen uh, roster because, well, um, surprise, surprise, I still haven't plus 10 him. Um, my Ross at the moment right now is actually plus 9. He. There, so, yeah, he's only plus 9, and so there is a good chance that we might get our final Ross emerge during this... I was waiting for that to be Ross, it's just Merrick, but whatever. Um, <laughs> um, there is a good chance that we might get our final Ross emerge, which would be really exciting. Um, I thought Ross was going to be my first plus 10 unit, he's not, uh, but he would be my second. Got a lot of blue orbs in this circle. Um, which would be still very exciting. And I do want to... <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. Okay. Prince Ephraim. And this is Prince Leon of Grotto. Nice to meet you. Who child. Yes. HP and speed. Okay, I would have preferred the super boon in attack, but you know beggars can't be choosers. Mmm, god, wait, I'm just gonna admire the artwork for just a second. Ah, uh, yeah, they just look so good. Hmm, yeah, okay, moment's over. Um, yeah, Greg Chun, and ah, uh, I'm just like a sucker for Mark Witten. Um, I don't know. I loved his work in, in Three Houses as Seteth, and then I started looking into his other work, and I was like, oh, he voiced this character, he voices Leon, he voices Harid, whose name I probably am still mispronouncing. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just like that man's voice. Uh, excellent, excellent. And actually, since we got Ephraim, I guess we should probably go ahead and pull some red orbs and just see what happens now. Um, now that we got at least one of our units, pretty excited. Um... Oh man, oh this is actually my first duo unit. I've never pulled for a duo unit before, so I'm actually, I just realized that. I've never pulled for one. I was really, really tempted to pull for um, duo Alphonse uh, during the New Year's banner because um, so far there just haven't really been any duo units that really speak to me. Um, none of them are my favorite characters, and truth be told, um, in most cases, the lords, there I mean, the lords are usually the ones that are getting the duo units, the duo variants, um, and in most cases, the lords of each game just aren't my favorite characters. I like Ephraim, certainly, um, but I wasn't, you know, like, the other duo units just haven't appealed to me, so this is sort of the first one that actually, that really actually, like, caught my attention. So I'm really excited that I finally got one. Um, still trying to figure out what time, uh, what type of team I'd put him on, though. Um, so Corrin, I, this is interesting, so literally just today I suddenly got the desire to try to build a Corrin. Um, I've never, I had so many manuals for Corrin and I <laughs> dumped them all not too long ago, but I was talking to one of my friends in our Discord server today and it sort of just, I mean I always knew that Corrin was a really great support unit because of Yato, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Yato, um, but now that we know who the next resplendent hero is, which is Robin, um, it sort of just dawned on me, oh wait, we might get a resplendent Corrin, and he, Corrin is such a great support unit to begin with, and I have some friends who have had Corrin as their lead unit, um, who've come in, who've come, who've become very handy to me during certain, um, voting gauntlet matches, so it'd be kind of nice to build one. Um, usually with a lot of these 4 star and 3 star units, the thing that holds me back, aside from being like a book 1 unit, is just the artwork. Um, not a fan of some of the artwork, I mean it's all subjective, um, but I just don't really particularly care for the corn artwork we have at the moment. So if you were to get a resplendent alt, I might just be tempted. Um, ooh, we got a lot of greens, got a lot of greens. Nice. Maybe we might get a Ross. Our final Ross merge. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna say that um, when I plus 10 my Ross, I really want to do like a video compilation of me like showing off my Ross in AR, I'm um, in Ether Raids and Arena. I'm not the most competitive person by any means. I don't take the modes very seriously. I don't like uh, I don't like having that pressure on me in the game. I like to just build my units just for fun. But like, it could be fun like to make a nice little medley, a little compilation of my Ross just destroying things left and right. Um, just for fun, just as a sort of self-celebratory thing um, for plus-tenning him. Love him. 
so that might be really really fun something i could do in the work something that's been on my mind for sure um oh i should have pulled that red orb i forgot oops damn it see this is um it's my first time actually recording myself while doing a summoning session and i'm honestly impressed that i'm multitasking as well as i am right now <laughs> um because up until this point i've just been doing my voiceovers and that was nice and easy Ooh, an echidna um I don't know why I said nice. I don't I don't have so many echidna manuals actually. I'm lying. Um, I have so many of them in my barracks, so I don't know why I said that this, this is nice. It's really not. Um, I'll keep pulling blue. Um, I won't be pulling colorless, but I did throw Tethys into the left hand side of the screen on that roster of desired units. Um, just because I am actually building a Tethys now. Ooh, an Odin. I'll take this Odin. I am also building an Odin. Um, I haven't merged him up yet, but I I just feel it in my gut that one day he's going to get okay a speed boon. That he's going to get a resplendent skin. I don't know why. I just oh no, I didn't mean to see. I'm so bad at multitasking. I didn't mean to. Well, I'm just gonna pull this colorless orb and hope it's not a five star Tethys. Okay, great. Yeah, I get so I'm very scatterbrained sometimes. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay blue um what was i saying ah oh, god i'm just it's also like like i said it's like two it's almost actually 2 30 now it's almost 2 30 in the morning now so my brain is a little loopy i'm surprised that i am still as coherent right now <laughs> um but it's okay we are doing well and we are on our 20th summon holy cow we are actually already almost there um i'm kind of nervous now wait hold on a second we still haven't seen garrick um, we haven't seen that many green orbs to begin with, actually. Um, we've got 12 summons left. I don't want to go past 40. I really don't, just because the rest of my orbs are going to be committed to Summer Wolt, who I've been looking forward to for a very, you know, pretty much since last year, quite honestly. Um, and I really want to plus 10 him. Um, so naturally, you can imagine the shock when I found out that we were going to be having this banner in July, the month that I was, you know, saving for all my Summer Walt summoning. So that was an interesting wrench to throw in. But again, I'm super grateful for this uh, summoning spark thing because otherwise I probably wouldn't have summoned. Or maybe I would have. I don't know. I don't know. But this thing is definitely a blessing because I'm definitely going to get at least two of the units. So we already obviously have... Oh, actually I can pull on this full circle. Um, let's start with the green. So, since we have dual Ephraim, I'm going to probably use my summoning spark on the Garrick. That would make the most sense, since he's the only other one that, of my top priorities that I didn't get. Unless I were to magically... Ooh, Silas! Oh, unfortunately, my Silas is actually plus 10. He's my first plus 10, um, because I plus 10 him in my last summoning session, the um, Mythic Mila banner, which was... Only a month ago, but god damn, it feels like ages ago. Um, blue, 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 blue. It'd be crazy if we got another duo Ephraim, that'd be pretty sick. Um, with that attack super boon. But, like I said, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just, I just don't want to spend that many orbs because I wanted to commit as many orbs as possible to plus 10 my Wolt, which is not gonna happen. I, I, I don't have any chance of plus 10 him in less than 500 orbs. Just not gonna happen. But still, it would be nice. Um, to It would be nice to get as many merges as possible. Um, and so, and his banner is actually coming back literally in like two days, I'm pretty sure. So, which is why, like, I knew that these banners were probably going to line up back to back. So that's why I was like, Ugh, I really got to be conservative and really try to like rein myself in with this, with this banner in particular. Um, we have four summons left. Um, and perfect, we have four orbs here. So... So here's the thing though, if I remember correctly, the 40th summon from the spark, it does not break our pity rate, if I remember correctly. So what I think I might do is if I don't get a 5 star unit from one of these last 3 orbs, we might keep going just to break the rate, just because one of my like, one of the things that drive me crazy about summoning is like walking away from a banner with a rate i just i like to like refresh the rate and then get out of the banner um just something that drives me crazy because like if i if i walk out of a banner with a pity rate then i keep thinking oh what if i keep going you know it's just that temptation to keep coming back and keep throwing orbs at it and it's like if i finally get that five star and just like refresh that rate i'm like 
that's closure. Like I'm done with the banner, that's it, we're done. We've gotten our last five star unit out of it, no more. So that is the closure that I am looking for and I'm not feeling optimistic now, um, but we'll see. Um, oh my God. Matilda, We've gotten quite a few Matildas actually from this. Um, okay, so that was, was that, wait, I thought that was our 40th. Maybe not. Okay, so let's do one more circle then. Um, let's see here. I wonder if it's going to force us to... That was our 40th. Oh, no, this was our 40th. <laughs> that we're about to choose right now. All right, let's go for red and see what happens. Um, I just... Uh, there's also a part of me that wants to use the, the spark summon on Yuen just because I hate summoning a red. It is my... Oh, we got reposition fodder. Not bad. Um, I just hate summoning red. After that green summoning session, like, that color red, tainted. Never want to... I just... Don't want to do. Don't want to go back to that. Don't want to go back to that. Too stressful. Too, 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 too stressful. Um. Yeah, we're gonna keep summoning. Uh, Leo. Well. <sighs> well. Well, we broke our rate. Well, I guess this means I get, won't get to have the Short Kings meme team that I wanted to build. It was going to be Yuin and Lou and maybe Roy. I don't know. All right. That's fine. I'll. There will be many more opportunities to get Yuin down the road. It is fine. Um, let me see what defense. Uh, what is... He has something. I think he has Quick Repost. Is that correct? Quick Repost fodder. Oh... Tragic. He might get a resplendent skin, but God, he would, ugh, he's going to need a miracle to actually make himself useful with those stats. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here and use our free 5-star summon on Garrick. Ooh, sorry, Ewan. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, the smoke. Desert Tiger. All right, just another average mercenary, I'm afraid. I'll earn my keep though, just watch. Oh my god. And he's neutral, of course, which is to be expected. Shame, because I would love, had, uh, love to have gotten him at plus speed, but again, beggars really can't be choosers. I'm so shocked that it took me so long to break that pity rate, and I got a Leo, a Leo to prove it for it. But anyway, that's it for this summoning session, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll be back in just a few days because we've got another summoning session. We've got a lot of summoning sessions coming along this week, let me just say that. Because we still have to summon on the new Three Houses banner that we just got. Because I still haven't summoned, I still haven't summoned for Summer Sylvain yet. So that's next on our list. And then probably right after that, I'm going to go all in and throw my 500-ish orbs towards Summer Wolt and see how many merges I can get. God, I hope I... God, I hope I get it. And also, um, I know I said in my last video, my unit builder for Lawrence, that I was going to be doing a unit builder for um, Minerva. Um, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. I didn't realize how swamped I would be this week, um, and also how burnt out I would feel after doing two unit builders, and me attempting to do a third one, like, back to back was just like a recipe for disaster. So. Um, I'm so sorry, I'm not going to be doing a unit builder for Matilda because I'm going to be working on this summoning session and then the other summoning session and then the third summoning session this week. Um, and then of course we'll be getting a new heroes banner really really soon. Definitely expecting Path of Radiance or Three Houses. So it's going to be hyped no matter what. So I'm going to have to like brace myself and get ready for that storm of content I'm going to have to make. So uh, there's that. Uh, lots going on so I'm sorry that I can't make a video for Matilda. Matilda, damn it, Minerva, um, but um, I hope that you will forgive me and that you continue to watch and enjoy the summoning sessions that I'm about to make. So there's that. Thanks again for sticking around with me. Uh, feel free to like or subscribe or comment down below if you'd like to comment these. If you, I'm so tired. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe if you like the content that you see. Um, it really helps the channel out. And you are also more than welcome to join our Discord group if you'd like. We've got a great little community there that is growing very rapidly. It continues to grow week after week. So feel free to drop in. The invite link is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Lots of crazy banners going on, so make sure you're saving those orbs. Happy saving, happy summoning, and take care. Bye.